Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little, a little YSL lip swatch for you guys. I didn't purchase everything so that's a disclaimer, okay? If you guys are here for the swatches, let me tell you the three shades that I got, alright? Because I don't want people to start saying that, oh you know I thought you have the whole collection. No girl, I'm not sponsored, okay? And they are expensive, okay? I have a lot of makeup already so it doesn't make sense for me to buy the entire range, alright? Um, and I cannot swatch them, so that's the worst thing. I bought it online, just on swatches people did online. So, yeah. Anyway, the three, these are their new, like, milk tea collection. If you guys are wondering, all the, you know, I don't know about... Like, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, but, yeah. So, I got one from each of the different category. So, from the Rouge Pearl Couture, I got 140 New Latte. And then from the Rouge Velope Shine Oil in Stick, I got 148 Beige Oversize. And then last one from Debonis Vinyl Cream, I got 432 Nude Amplifier. Okay, then let me check because I haven't checked if they give me the correct things. So let me just do a quick check before I open up and swatch them so I can ask for refund if they do give me wrong ones before I, sw I, sw I swatch them. So let me just do a quick check. And also because, okay, meanwhile while I'm checking, let me tell you guys this thing. They were doing a little, um, what would I, how would I say? Like, they were doing like a little, like um, a promotion that says like, um, if, I don't know where is it. Oh, yeah, like I was saying, sorry, totally mind blown. Yeah. So they were doing a promotion, like if you buy three lipsticks, or, or was it two lipsticks, I can't really remember. You have two full-size lipsticks for free. And the worst thing is that they give me two of the same colour. Okay, I know that the shades are supposed to be predetermined, but honestly, you give me two of the same shade. Are you telling me <laughs> to use that particular lipstick for three, for two, like give me two full-size lipsticks of the same colour? I mean like as a com- I mean like, okay, maybe you're trying to get rid of old stock, but there's a lot of old stock, right? And if you guys are a consumer, it's only right that you give people two different shades, am I right or not? You give me two of the same shade, it's so boring firstly, and um, it's just very very upsetting, right? Like, I I can't understand, I, I just, uh, it's fun. I just can't do a check. I got new latte, beige oversize, and in fact, yeah, I got the other three. So it's very sad, okay? The two lipstick that they give me, that are full size for free, Okay, is 103 from the Slim Sheer Matte, which is the white packaging one like this. And the color is a neon fluorescent orange. Mm. I don't know what to do with it. I'm thinking if I should give one to my sister or one for my friend. But I'm so upset because firstly, orange is not my kind of color. And if you give me one orange and the other one, I can be happier because maybe the other one suits me. But then now you give me two of the same color. I'm just so sad. Well, okay, never mind. Let's just come to the right thing here, okay? The main thing. So, um, I'm going to leave the creamy lip stain for the last because I'm afraid that it might stain because I actually put on a lip stain before this and then it's staining my lips. Ole mole. Okay, I'm still going to conceal them and then uh, we shall get a hit. Hopefully it helps. No, it's not very good. I'm going to try and dab it off. Okay, finally. Mm, like that, so that you kind of like this sinks into the lips. And then, woo, packaging very luxe as usual. It's a little bit more browny and more terracotta -y. I'm scared actually. But yeah, this is 148 beige oversize. Woo -hoo. You see the color? Okay, it's a little bit sheer. So you have to go in a few times. Wow. Mango smell. So this one looks really good. It actually looks really similar to the tin that I'm wearing before, isn't it? But I like this color, right? So let me just swatch it here for you guys. Okay, in real life it's appearing to be a little bit more dark. Yeah, because through the lighting it shares them out a lot. I like it. Next, let's just remove it. Next up, Rouge Pearl Couture. You know, initially I wanted to buy two from the, uh, the Couture line. Um, and I wanted to forgo the 
what is that? I wanted to forego the Velox Shine because I often find that that one lacks a lot of pigmentation and I'm very afraid that it doesn't show on my lips because I actually bought two. One is like a sheer candy and back in the days that was like my first ever luxury lipstick that my mom got for my birthday. It's just such a beautiful pink but it doesn't show up on Asians. You have to be really really fair. Um, yeah, really really fair. Very, very light looking lips, light coloured lips to pull that kind of pink off. It's like a soft baby pink. And then the next one I got is a beige colour, so I'm not sure, you know, like... But yeah, I decided to, you know, just jump in and get it, but I really like the colour. And then this one is New Latte, which is... I wonder why did I get all this brownie colour? I mean, like, it's a milk tea collection, but um, I can't really remember. I mean, like, it's definitely pink hues one, but uh, I don't know why. But anyway, yeah, this is the one, and it's kind of sweating. <laughs> the lipstick is sweating, oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, so let's go right in. Ooh, this one has a lot more brown. A lot more brown in it. Can you guys see it? In real life, it appears to be a little bit like orange with brown. In the camera, it looks a little bit brighter. Like more like a terracotta autumn kind of shade. And then this is the shade. Ooh, pigmented. I really like their root Couture, like pure couture's. Um, I used to have one purple one, like a fusion one that I really like, as well as the famous number 52 color that the actress wore in what is the show's name? K drama people. Um, you who came from the star or my love from the stars, I believe. I love that show so much, just love it. I like the actress, I also like the actor, and the actress just looks so good in every single thing like lipstick clothing, everything. Just beautiful. Um, she wore the colour, it was so famous. It was also for the longest time and I finally got it um, and I love the colour. But um, it's a little bit fluorescent honestly. Right now it's not in the trend but I still like that shade a lot. So anyway, this is 140 New Latte. Mm -hmm. -hoo. Actually I'm most excited about this final cream because I've never tried this in the formula. I've never tried Rise lipstick in this formula. Ooh, very slick and black and the colour, this one I think it's the like the milkier ones, like the most milky one out of the bunch. Yeah, but it's also like the kind of color over here. So I think the applicator has changed a little bit. I'm not quite sure. Because I used to really like their lip stains. Ooh I like it. You know, and I really wanted to get um the very famous color from this co this collection like not this collection this line like the vinyl cream but i decided to just stay to getting products from the empty collection i definitely have to go in another time too and you know the thing about the uh, this one now that i applied and i realized um the uh, stains you have to kind of let it settle a little bit on the lips before you see the true colors. They're like that. They appear a little bit lighter most of the time. But if you let it set a little bit, it kind of appears a little bit darker. So this one is, what is it? 432 Nude Amplifier. I like it. I like, I think this is my, my favorite because um, it has a lot more brown and it's not that intense. But it covers up your lip pigmentation. Of course not as full coverage as the Poyo Couture, but um, definitely for a stain, it is covering up pretty much. And I like it. Okay, it's appearing a little bit peachy on the camera, but in real life, trust me, it has more brown in it. So it's the kind of colour that you want to look put together, but you don't want it to go overboard and you don't want to look very girly, where there is a lot of like peach, a lot of pinks in it. I like this one. Honestly, I really really like this one. Mm -mm. Let's see if it stings. Ooh, okay, it stings a little bit lah, but um, it's not that bad. And I'm actually very curious, I wonder if it stings eh? Let's see. Okay, it stings a little bit, because I noticed that this portion here stings a little bit as compared to when I first applied it. Yeah, a little bit, not a lot. And maybe because I didn't allow it to stay on my lips for that long anyway. So, um, oh, since we're at it, right, why not just also try this one, the Slim Sheer Matte for you guys. Anyway, we are already at the guide, so this is the packaging. Oh, oh, looks like that. 
Okay, and then you have the lipstick here. Oh, I think I think I, I squashed it. It's a very fluorescent orange. <sighs> Let's just try it. Oh, actually, that formula feels quite good. It's a little bit like a lip balm. It has a lot of grip, but not slippery. So you know, like the kind of like velvet blurry thing. Yeah, not like that. So this is that. Oh, but it does make me look really, really fair. Other than the fact that my foundation is already, already fairer than my neck and my skin tone. Um, but it actually... Uh, I think my teeth look quite <laughs> white. Um, feels very comfortable on the lips, definitely. And actually, I don't hate it. I actually think it looks good because it's like a sheer formula, right? Um, it's not as glossy as the, the look shine, but um, it's like not as opaque as well so your natural lip colour still show true so despite it being so neon right it looks pretty good mmm I like it what do you guys think? I, I like it, I don't know I, I, I think it looks good I like it so this is the end of the 3 lipstick that I swatched from the Milk Tea line from YSL I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys soon bye